Assemble the Protean Plus multicasting chamber with the desired amount of Protean Plus hinge spacer plates in the desired gel thickness and width. Protean Plus hinge spacer plates have two widths, 20 cm wide to fit either 17 and 18 cm IPG strips, or 25 cm wide to fit 24 cm IPG strips, as well as three different gel thicknesses of 1, 1.5, and 2 mm. Attach a short length of tubing with a stopcock on the end to the inlet port of the multicasting chamber. Make sure the valve is in the closed position. Stand the multicasting chamber upright on the bench top and place it on a level surface. The volume of monomer required depends on several factors, including gel thickness, number of gels, and gel width, all of which can vary depending on your specific requirements. To make a precise determination of the volume of monomer required for your application, measure the volume of deionized water required to fill the casting chamber to the desired level. Then disassemble the chamber, rinse and dry the parts, and repeat assembly and casting using the determined volume of monomer solution plus an extra 10 milliliters. Please see your manual for detailed monomer solution recipes. Prepare the monomer solution and combine all reagents except for the initiators usually APS and Temid. Degas the solution under vacuum for at least 15 minutes. Degassing removes oxygen, which can inhibit polymerization. In this video, we have artificially colored the solution blue so that you can easily see the flow of the solution. Be aware that your solution should not be blue, but clear. After degassing, add initiators to the gel monomer solution. Pour the solution into the top of the glass cassettes using a graduated cylinder. A pipette or large syringe can also be used. To minimize bubble formation, direct the monomer down the side of the spacer. Monitor the level of the solution rising and stop when you reached the desired gel height. Overlay each gel as quickly as possible with the same volume of water-saturated butanol or t amyl alcohol. Alternatively, insert a Protean Plus 2D comb into each hinged spacer plate. To minimize bubble formation, insert the comb at an angle. Allow at least two hours for polymerization. After polymerization, remove the sealing plate from the multicasting chamber. Remove the gels from the stack one at a time using the green gel releaser. Place the gel releaser between two plates on the hinged side. Pull the gel releaser forward, pushing against the back plate still inside the chamber. This should push and move one plate forward and release it from the rest of the stack. Trim off excess acrylamide around the glass edges with the gel releaser. Rinse off the tops of all the gels thoroughly with distilled water. Wash off any pieces of excess acrylamide with distilled water. The gels are now ready to use. To store, place the gel cassette in a tightly sealed container or Ziploc bag. Add a few milliliters of 1x gel buffer to the bottom of the container and to the tops of the gels to prevent them from drying out. Store tightly sealed at 4 degrees Celsius.
cleaned the entire casting chamber thoroughly with distilled water.